Hey guys, what's up? It's Tina from Frugal Fun and Fabulous. We're making ice cream today. Emmy was gonna help me, but she's run off. She's actually scared of loud noises. She thinks this is gonna be like a vacuum cleaner loud, so she might join us. Hi, Em. You wanna come over and help make ice cream? Come on, we're not gonna turn it on yet. You can leave when we turn it on, okay? All right, here she comes. <laughs> Adjust this a little bit. All right, climb up to your spot. Okay. Ready? Go in your spot. <laughs> Say hi. You're gonna ask Rudolph. Rudolph is our fish. She's living in that little container for the moment. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started until Emmy wants to help. So we're gonna use a few different things. Now I looked online at several different recipes for keto ice cream. There's a lot out there, but they're pretty much all mason jar recipes. I didn't see anything for the, the ice cream, the KitchenAid ice cream attachment anyway. So hopefully this will help somebody else. We're winging it just a little bit, but I think that, I think that based on making it before and what I've seen you know, online, I think I can get this. All right, so. Hi. All right, Emmy, you gonna help me? All right. Okay, here, you're in charge of stirring, okay? I'm no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, so what we're gonna use for this ice cream, I'm gonna use two cups. Shh, 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 we gotta wait, okay? I'm gonna use, nope, you, I'm gonna put it in, you gotta stir, okay? I'm gonna use two cups of just heavy whipping cream, and me, wait, wait. Can I do it? You can, you can stir, you're gonna pour it in. Be careful, don't spill it. Good job. All right, whoop, we gotta do one more. All right, so that was two cups of heavy whipping cream. Good job. All right, now we're gonna use one cup of coconut milk. Now, when you guys buy this, make sure you get the unsweetened coconut milk, okay? Because some of it has sugar in it, like cream of coconut has a lot of sugar in it. This actually has, uh, if you can see that, it's two grams of carbs per serving, which is a third of a Hi. cup. There's five servings in this container. Emmy, <laughs> Hi. She, they see you. You got a noodle on your face. All right. Okay, go back to your stirring position, okay? Thanks, monkey, appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna give this a good shake because there's some solids in there. There's a little more, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna open this one up. And by solids, I'll show you what I mean. It's like the, the fat from the coconut milk solidifies um, in the can, so yeah, very evident here. So as you can see, like it's stuck to the lid. You see what I'm saying? So you wanna shake it up as much as you can. All right, we're gonna put one cup of this in there. How's it tasting so far, Lulu? It's good. Good, okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'll take the cup. All right, next we're gonna throw in uh, some vanilla extract and some almond extract. We don't actually have like a flavor going. I'm just kind of using what I have at home. So um, I've got this vanilla bean, it's Madagascar vanilla bean paste. You can get this on Amazon, but I'm sure regular vanilla extract would work as well. We're gonna put, ooh, mm, I'm so good. I'm gonna put a teaspoon on in there. It's not, it's not really good for you. It doesn't have any sugar in it, so it probably won't taste very good. But we're gonna put some in, okay? You can mix, yes. Make sure you don't spill it. Will it taste good? It will. So hold the bowl with one hand, okay, so it doesn't go flying. Thank you, mama. Okay, next we're gonna put in one teaspoon of almond extract, just because I really like almond extract. Oh, all right, let's put this in. Okay, so we got that going. Can I mix? You can mix, you can mix. All right. Does it taste good? Uh, it will in a second. Okay, next we're gonna put in some swerve. Now this is the confectioner swerve. You can use whatever you know, yeah. keto sweetener you like, but I, the swerve yeah. is my favorite. It's just so good. I mean, for me, everybody has different tastes, but they also, wait, they also make this really convenient um, powdered sugar version, which I'm using this because we're not heating. Hi, we're, Sammy, stop. We're not heating this mixture, so I wanted to uh, be able to have it dissolve really easily, and this does dissolve well. I've used it before. All right. Can I do it, Mommy? You can, let me, let me measure it. So I'm putting one cup of that powdered swerve in there. All right, maybe a little more. <laughs> put, uh-uh, uh-uh, put it in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> the joys of a three-year-old, she's so cute, but oh my goodness, what a handful. All right, let's knock the rest of that out in there. Mix it really, really good, okay? <laughs> All right, oh, you're doing such a good job. Thank you. 
All right, for our final ingredient, we are gonna put some nuts in here. So I just picked out the low carb nuts from a mixed nut can and gave the cashews to Emmy. So we've got almonds, uh, pecans, hazelnuts, and pistachios in there. Okay, can I them? Yes, and then maybe some walnuts too. You know, it's like a mixed nut can. Can I mix? You can mix. You're doing such a good job, Lulu. All right, now we're gonna taste it to see where it's at. Since there's no eggs in there or anything, this is fine. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna taste it to see what it tastes like, okay? Let's see if it's sweet enough. Oh my goodness, we're gonna try it. Try it. What do you think? Yuck. <laughs> I think it tastes amazing. It's super good. What do you think? You don't like it? No, it tastes like stupid medicine. It tastes like stupid medicine. <laughs> I bet it's this. <laughs> well, I've got other ice cream for you then, okay? All right, Mommy's gonna do the mixer part now, so do you wanna stay around for that? No. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit, Lulu. Okay, can I take that phone to see me? Can you do what? Can I take that phone to see me? No. All right, guys, next thing we have here is the KitchenAid mixer attachment, or the bowl attachment ice cream maker, okay? As you can see, it's frozen solid. I've had it in the freezer for over 24 hours. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Hi. All right, so I've had it in the freezer for over 24 hours. It's, it's rock hard, okay? Rock hard frozen anyway, and you wanna have that. Don't just leave it in there until the very last minute. The next thing you do, well, there's two steps, and nobody online mentions this either. This thing comes with, um, What's it called? It's like an adapter, right? So it's this white thing, and what you do is you put the big piece like this. Okay, so this circle goes around the original, this is what the, usually the whisk or something would attach to. So you stick it on there like this, right? Because it's got this adapter that's gonna let it attach to the end of this, okay? Which wouldn't work with just the silver stick. So the next thing you do is just take this, sorry, stick it in the bowl first, okay? Then you take the bowl, and it locks in just like the silver bowl, right? Just like the regular bowl or glass bowl, whatever you're using. All right, then what we're gonna do, I'm trying to get it, make sure it's perfectly even here. All right, hopefully that's fine. We'll see in a second. Then what we're gonna do is just pour the entire mixture, get all those nuts out of the whisk. Okay. We're gonna pour the entire mixture into the ice cream maker. Now the magic happens. We are going to turn this on. Yeah, you may have to fiddle with this just a little bit. Yep, okay, that's in place. So we're gonna turn this on. I've got it on two um, and let this roll for about 20, 25 minutes. I will uh, go ahead and let that happen. It actually may take less time because I used half of the recipe. You can use double if you're making a big batch of ice cream for this. There's a lot of, if you look online at the attachment recipes, um, you can, it's, it's like it would be four cups, with two cups of coconut milk, that kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'm gonna let this roll for about 15, 20 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it, and then when it's done, I'll be back to show you what we got. We're back, we're ready to stop this thing. Let's check it out. Emmy, you ready? I thought you said it tastes like medicine. You don't like it. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got, guys. I'm gonna pull this dapper thing out. Look at this, it's like legit ice cream. Oh my God. Yes, you can try. What do you think? Is it good? All right, I'm gonna get a bowl so you guys can see this. Okay, so here's what we got. Okay, it's still, it's, it's gonna be soft. I mean, when it comes out of here, it's not like, you know, like when you're pulling a carton out of the freezer, but I will say, I got some. you can eat it out, you can eat it like this. Its consistency is fine for eating. I actually kind of prefer it like this. Actually, you can just put it back in the bowl. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Em? So, 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 so good. All right, here's how it came out. This, what I'll do, I'm not gonna eat all of this, obviously. Um, I'll, I'll freeze a lot of this in the freezer. We'll probably like half, we'll see. I mean, we'll be realistic. Um, and then it'll still be good for a while in there as well. Um, but yeah, no, that's the keto ice cream, guys, in the KitchenAid ice cream maker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Say bye, Emmy. Bye. <laughs> bye.